Hey there, good looking. Join me for this total body workout. Listen, we're gonna start out with a bulletproof knee drill. So we're gonna focus on strengthening the muscles around the knee joint and then move into a total body circuit using compound exercises so that you get the most out of every exercise. We'll also utilize your core with some unilateral movements and challenge your balance. This workout is also day 21 of our strong and sassy challenge. For equipment, I recommend a pair of heavy, so something that you'll use for your legs as well as rowing patterns, as well as one moderate dumbbell for shoulder press exercises, and then a light piece of tubing for our warm up. All right, let's go get started. All right, welcome to the workout. Let's get you all warmed up and get the joints and the muscles ready for the work we're about to do. Getting down onto the mat on all fours, knees apart underneath the hips, wrists under shoulders, fingers spread. Inhale, let the low back sag, head looks up. Exhale, push the ground away and really arch the spine, articulating through each vertebrae. Let's do it again. Inhale. Exhale. And to neutral. Big toes together, knees are open. Sit your hips right back, left hand behind left ear. Bring that elbow in between the right elbow and knee and then rotate. Here we go, moving into T-spine and shoulder. Let's do two more. Last one. Left hand down, reach it forward, right hand behind ear, bring that elbow under, and then rotate. One more. Beautiful, get back into that four point position, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up, fire up the core. Push the ground away slightly, draw that belly button in towards the spine, hover here for three, two, one, release. Shake out the wrists if you need to. We've got one more to go, here we go. Knees under hips, ready, drive the knees a couple inches off that ground. Breathe here, we're holding for three, two, one, release. On your back, let's wake up the glutes, hips, Feet hip width apart, drive the hips up nice and high, walk the shoulders and pin them under. Now drive the left knee, lower down, and then the right knee. So these are called marching bridges. As mentioned, we're gonna warm up into those glutes. If you start to feel it too much in the hamstrings, you might have your heels a little too far away from your tush. You want the heels pretty close. In fact, you can feel the heels with your fingertips. Good. Drive up, here we go, let's do four more. Here's four, and three, and two, and one. Lower down, bring the legs up into tabletop, bring the arms up, draw the belly button in towards the spine, lower your left leg and opposite arm, and to center, other side. Performing a dead bug, further warming up the core. We've got a lot of movements where that core needs to stabilize our spine. So let's get it fired up and ready to go. Here we go, last four. And three. Two. And one, come on up. Either rock yourself up into a seated position or press yourself up. Take it into a bit of a squat. Feet shoulder width apart, toes turned out. Bum goes rear, drive those arms up. Good. We didn't use the tubing for the warm up, did we? No, we didn't. Sorry. <laughs> Let's do two more here. Here's two <laughs> and one. All right, grab a quick sip of water. We're going to start with a 30 second drill, working each leg independent. Not really independent, but you'll see what I mean. I want you to grab the heavier of the dumbbell and just mirror me, okay? So you're going to have your feet. Shoulder width apart, a dumbbell in this hand, and we're gonna step out to a side lunge this way. So let's give it a try. Side lunge, dumbbell comes down. Good, now dumbbell faces you. Use the hips to get the dumbbell up there. 
Sink down into the squat, release, do it again. Side lunge, clean, squat. How far you lunge your squat is totally up to you. For the clean, we're using the hips to get the dumbbell up to the shoulder. Advance, people. Let's get deep with that squat. Last one. All right. So we have four rounds on this one, and then we'll do the other side. So we're not changing sides. Ready? Three, two, one. Step it out. I want you to get used to this move. So we'll stay with the same side, helping you really muscle memory it. So side lunge. This is our drill challengers that's going to bulletproof those knees. This is that unilateral move I was telling you about, warm up that's going to fire up the core and challenge our balance. And you probably have to think about this. You haven't done this move maybe before. So now we're firing up the gray matter. Super important that we don't get stuck in a rut doing moves that we could do in our sleep. We need to think, put our mind in what we're doing. Let's go, side lunge. Feet wide, hip hinge, squat it. Side lunge. Keep those feet wide, hip hinge, squat it. Good. So it's 30 seconds of work, 10 second break. It's gonna give us a really good heart rate response too. Whoo! All right. How you doing? Good. So our last time on this side, okay? And then we'll do the other side. Ready, side lunge. Good, feet wide, hip hinge, clean it up. Good. So the exercise bringing the dumbbell to the shoulder by using your hips is called a clean. So I'm not <laughs> asking you to <laughs> clean. <laughs> I actually had that, that one time when I was teaching a group class. One more. All right, so let's get to the dumbbell the other side. Let's give ourselves some room on this side now, all right? Ready? Step outside, lunge. Feet wide. Hip hinge, clean, drop it down. Good. How deep can you go with that squat advance, people? You want functional strength to help you in day-to-day -day activity. You're looking at it. <laughs> All right, so we kind of hopefully are getting the flow of it now. Here we go. Three, two, one, side lunge. Good. Now feet apart, hip hinge, clean it, squat it, lower the weight, do it again. Clean it, squat it, lower the weight, good. So don't rush it. We'll all get there, don't worry. When we clean too, we're doing that hip hinge, which challenges you in learning and memorizing. So it becomes just a natural thing when you hinge forward. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Feet apart, hinge, clean, squat. All right, we got one more to go. We get a 30 second water break and we'll move into that strength circuit. Ready? Three, two, one, side lunge. Clean it. Squat it deep. Last round.
One more. Finish it wherever you are. Keep going. Finish it. Woo. All right. Dumbbell down. <laughs> Grab a quick sip of water. As I mentioned, we're going to move right into that strength circuit. All right. So here's the scoop. We have three rounds. All right. Eight different movement patterns, 30 seconds of work, half time recovery. We're starting with an alternating row, hitting all of the muscles in our back as well as our biceps. And we're going to get some hip and some hamstring contraction too as we hold ourselves in that hip hinge. So let's grab our heavier weights. Feet are shoulder width apart. Now give me that beautiful hip hinge we've been learning. Arms down. Bring the elbow up so there's no gap in between the body. And alternate. Tighten out the core. Gaze is ahead of you slightly. Now, if this is too much for your low back, an easy way to get around that is drop one dumbbell and just alternate. So now you're not holding on to double the weight as you're loaded because it is a lot of load isometrically for the hamstrings and low back, okay? So it's an easy work around there. All right, goblet elevated lunge. What? <laughs> so I want you to hold on to the dumbbell goblet style. And now let's elevate our arms. So we're up here. Feet hip width, step back with the left, and let's just lunge down nice and slow. Left leg going as low as you can, advance people. Three, two, one, knee to ground, and then drive up. Here we go. Three, two, one, drive up. So we're taking it really slow as we lower, called time under tension. Working the quads, hips, and hammies a little harder. And then we've got all of those back muscles fired up. Now let's keep this leg in front of us, all right? Give, your, give me a little type of tiny um, kick stand, dumbbell in the hand, and all you're gonna do is transfer it. So we are time under tension now in this front leg in the glute and the hamstring. Advanced people, lift that back leg. So it's like so, softness in the knee, hip hinge, a lot of core activated as we transfer the dumbbell side to side and all the muscles have to contract and hold you in this position. At any time, you can kickstand that leg. All right, so let's do the goblet elevated with the other leg. So feet hip width, step back with your right leg now. Bring the dumbbell in a goblet style. So that means you're holding it like so. Lift it up. Now bring it down for three, two, one, drive up. So your three, two, one might be a quarter lunge. All right. And then you hold and hover until we drive up. Okay. Here we go. Focus, PJ. I always want you to go. It's going to feel best for your joints. All right, now we keep this leg in front. We kick down the back leg, we hip hinge, we soften that left leg, and then we transfer the weight. So here we go, transfer, transfer. And then we can lift that back leg if that's where we wanna be. And that's really gonna fire up the glute isometrically on this left side. 30 seconds of work, and then we'll give the legs a break. <laughs> Tighten up the abs, draw that belly button in towards the spine. Transfer the weight side to side, focusing that stare on something stationary. All right, we have negative push-ups. If push-ups aren't your jam, mini Me's gonna do a chest press, so you'll have a dumbbell in each hand. If you're following suit with me, we can start on the knees. Wrists just slightly wider than shoulders. So first get them right under the shoulders. Now step them out just a tad. Drop the bum. As we lower, the elbows are gonna to point towards the back of the mat. Now we're gonna lower slow. That's the negative part of the push-up. You ready? We're gonna come down for three, two, hold, pause. Lower down, stay on the knees, press up. Now you can go into full push-up if you like. Oh, 
Good. So now you know it. Next time we'll be able to get some more reps in. All right, taking our moderate dumbbell, mirror me, place it in this hand, tighten up the opposite arm to activate the core. Now lift up this foot and press up. Now if that's not available to you, just kick stand. So you're not gonna give yourself full support, maybe 20% support. <laughs> Try 18% support. <laughs> Softness in that stabilizing leg. Tighten up the other arm. It's gonna fire up that core and help us hold this balance. All right, we've got the other side. We'll grab some water and then we go through the circuit again. So, mirroring me, tighten up, kick stand, or lift the leg up completely and press and lower. So having good looking muscles means absolutely nothing if we don't have stability, core control, <laughs> and balance. And that's what this workout's all about. Working out all of those other aspects of our fitness that we need to age well. Breathing. Nice job. All right, quick sip of water. You've got a 30 second break. Our first exercise is a dumbbell in each hand for row. You can grab the heavier ones. Again, if that was too much stress on your low back, just hold on to the one and change arms each rep. Otherwise, follow suit, feet, shoulder width. Let's get that hip hinge, drive the belly button towards the spine, breathe out, lift up. Nice and slow and controlled. Working those back muscles, hitting the bicep, getting that rear delt while we isometrically hold ourselves here using our core, including the low back extensors, while also firing up in the glutes and the hamstrings. One more each arm. Last one. And come on up. All right, we want to hold that dumbbell goblet style lunge, okay? Hold it up, feet hip width, step back with your left, all right? Arms up, let's take it down slow. Three, two, knee to ground if you can, and then all the way up a little faster. One more rep. Now let's keep this leg in front. We can kickstand this one, have a little bit of a hip hinge while we transfer the weight arm to arm, or we can lift the leg up, find that balance, and then transfer it. So now working in the core even deeper, working all the way up that right leg really feeling it in the glute. <laughs> Make sure you have that hip hinge. We're forward, you're not upright. Woo, this is good stuff for your knee too. Hitting all those little stabilizers. One more. All right, all right. So again, challengers hitting that theme of bulletproofing your knees this week. All right, let's step back with the right leg now. Right leg back, arms up, and take it down. Ready, goes three, two, one. I have absolutely no balance today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Couldn't have been all those martinis at lunch, could it? <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> I can't stand martinis for one. Ooh. Ooh. Now keep that leg in front. We're not moving that leg in front. We've got that hip hinge. Bend the other leg or keep it kickstand behind you for some balance and support. Weight transfer side to side. Let's go. 
Wish I liked martinis. It seems like such an adult drink. I like olives. I'll eat your olive. <laughs> if you order a martini and you don't like your olive, I'll eat it. <laughs> Woo, feel that glute. This is good. Moving into those negative push-ups coming up, or maybe you've chose to do chest press with the dumbbells. All right, whatever you choose is the right option. If you're with me, I'm gonna try it from the toes. You can stay on the knees. We're taking it slow and controlled on the way down, chest to ground, then come on up. Ready, set, go. Three, two, one, hover. Lower down, stay on the knees. Do it again. Hover. Lower all the way down, stay on the knees, press up. So we hover there, that's the hard part, isn't it? Right there, whoa. <laughs> but that's what gets us stronger. Last one. All right, moderate weight dumbbell. You're mirroring me, it's in this hand. We're gonna lift this leg up. Let's tighten up through the opposite hand. Bring the arm up, lift up, press up. At any time, you can add a little bit of a kickstand if that's what you need. This one's kind of mean after push-ups, isn't it? Kind of the same muscles. <laughs> All right, other side. So that stabilizing knee is soft. We talked about this in another workout. We always want a soft joint so we can track the muscles above and below the joint. So in this case, our knee joint. Arm up, tighten up, press up. All right, 30 second breather. We're moving through this one more time. Grab a quick sip if you need it. We've got rows coming up. With our rows, remember you have that option. One arm, if you're finding it too much on your low back. You can also do pull-ups with your TRX if you own a TRX. Let's get set up. Feet, shoulder width, knees soft, hip hinge, arms down, row breathe. Low and controlled. Good, belly button drawn towards the spine. Necks lined up with your spine. One more rep, each arm. Last one. All right, let go of one weight. We've got the goblet elevated. Hold with our dumbbell and then step back with your left leg for your lunge. Here we go, keep the feet hip width, step back hip width, lower down, three, two, one, and then drive up on a one count. Three, two, one. Trying to keep those upper arms parallel to your ground. Straightening that front leg all the way when we come up. Lower the weight, keep this leg in front for me, please. Here's view. You can kick stand if you'd like. Then it's a hip hinge. Transfer the weight side to side or come right off. So it doesn't really matter how much you lift the back leg, it's just lifting it is what's going to get that right glute fired right up. 
in addition to everything up that right leg. We don't want to forget that hip hinge. Again, we're not upright with this. All right, so feet hip width, step back hip width, okay? And that's gonna help you with the lunge pattern. So now it's our right leg back. Let's hold the dumbbell, goblet style, elevate, drop it down for three, two, knee to ground if you can, drive up. You're gonna feel your shoulders and your upper back big time. <laughs> Almost there, come on team. Woo. All right, keep that leg in front. You can tow it, hip hinge, get the rhythm, and then let's lift that back leg up. Negative push-ups coming up. All right, negative push-ups or perhaps you've chosen a chest press, dumbbell in each hand. Again, both are perfect. Here we go, knees or toes, up to you. Let's take it down. Three, two, one, hover. Woo, drop it down and press up. I stay on my knees when I press up. You might want to as well. <laughs> Hold it just a couple inches off the ground for a couple breaths there. All right, last one everyone. Woo! All right, dumbbell in your right hand. You want that lighter weight that you have. Tighten up the other arm. And that's gonna help tighten up in the core, believe it or not. You can even hold on to a tennis ball if you want. Softness in that stabilizing leg. Press. All right, last exercise. Here we go. So in the other hand, let's rack it. And that just means sitting it just above the shoulder, tighten up that arm, tightening up the core, helping us with our balance and press. Good, exhale as we press up. All right, we did it. Let's grab a quick sip. Listen, I wanted to respect your 30 minute time limit. So we're just gonna do a few stretches. Over 50 Fitness, you can enjoy so many other stretches ads free. You can find them either on the stretching mobility playlist, yoga playlist, and then we also have timed playlists. So maybe try the 10-ish minute playlist. YouTube, I will link one up here. If you've got time to stretch out, Let's do a couple though, all right? Left knee to ground. Let's get into the hip flexor. All right, you good? Interlace the hands, place them behind the head. Extend back, elbows open, chest lifted, breathe. Challengers, well done. 21 days of workout, whether it took you 21 days, 42 days, <laughs> 
it doesn't matter. You completed it. I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And if you're not already a part of either our Patreon or Over 50 Fitness community, I truly hope that I get the honor to work with you over there. We've got details down below. And if you signed up for the challenge, you're going to get some info as well as perhaps some discounts. <laughs> All right. Spoiler alert. Here we go. Other knee. Perfect. Now lunge forward. Good. Now let's bring both arms up. Thumbs leading to the wall behind us. We're still extending through the spine. Ah. And then let's circle the arms behind nice and slow. You know I love this. Oh. Wow. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your day. And I look forward to training you on our next workout together. Bye. Hey there, good looking. Join me for this total body workout where we will hit every muscle in the body using compound exercises so you get more exercise per exercise. More exercise per exercise. <laughs> nice. This means that we're moving more joints in one exercise so you get more for each exercise. More? What do you get more of? <laughs> that would be nice. <sighs> Gosh.